Well, the romantic comedy, He's Just Not That Into You, opens today. All week, we've been talking to the all-star cast. Joining us now is Greg Barrett, who co-wrote the number one New York Times bestseller. Greg, good morning and congratulations. Thanks. Your success train just keeps on going and going and going. I'm telling you, kid, this is a, it's like a gift bag. It just, I keep putting my hand in there and stuff keeps coming out. Well, it's, the <laughs> book was such great advice. It was like, how could you not make it into a movie? Were you happy with how it came out? You know, they did a really good job of extracting all the, you know, the different chapters. You know, he's just not that into you if he's not calling you to, he's not that into you if he's married to somebody else, which it seems like the, be the most self-evident one, but you know, mm -hmm. people still get involved in that. For anyone living in a cave and doesn't know about the book or how this came about, just give us the, the broad brush strokes in the background. But we, well, I was a consultant on the show Sex in the City. I was on a lunch break. One of the girls had been seeing a guy who wasn't giving her the love that he should be giving her. We were talking and she said, I invited him up to my place last night and he didn't want to come up. And I said, he's just not that into you. And then it became like this big, there was like a big buzz about that. And What was her know, reaction when you told her? She was her. shocked. Uh -huh. I was like, I, well, yeah, if, we, if you invite us up and we like you, we'll come up. Otherwise, we, we're going home because we don't like you. You know, I mean, uh, you know, and he's, she's like, well, he had a job. And I'm like, I don't care if he had to fly the space shuttle. I'd come up. So... <laughs> Uh, so uh, we, we went into the writer's room, we started talking about it, and Liz Tuchillo, the co-author, whose idea the book was, said, hey, there is something in that idea that's sort of bigger than just the episode, and so she really pushed for it to be a book. And when you interrupted this conversation, were there other women around this one particular person, like, coming up with excuses? Everybody. Like they all started going, well, you know, so great, so every guy that doesn't come up doesn't, he doesn't like you? I'm like, well, as a general rule, you know, yeah, if a guy doesn't call you, he doesn't like you, because otherwise he'd call you, because how else is he going to find you? Like, there's just a logic in how people treat you when they like you and then when they don't, the, the things that they do. And, it, you know, this, these are just the signs that somebody may not be into you. You know, it's not like a guy doesn't call you once and you go, goodbye, then you're a freak. <laughs> <laughs> then you're crazy. Do guys do what us women do? They like sit around, oh, and make up excuses why he didn't call yet and all that kind of stuff. I, you know, to a lesser degree, when you're a guy, you, you get to have a breakup for about two weeks, and then your buddy's like, we're done talking about it. You know, it's over. You know, no more. <laughs> uh, so I, I don't think so. I think also guys have such big egos that they're sort of like, well, somebody else must like me, so let's move on. I'm sure somebody else likes me. <laughs> <laughs> you have a little cameo in the film. Oh. How was Cinematic that? Cinematic history. You, uh, well, I don't want to give anything away. Oh, it doesn't really give anything. It doesn't anything. really give anything away. I play, I play a, a priest at a wedding, uh, and all I have to do is look surprised, and it took 15 takes for me to go like this. It was, <laughs> the, it was the hardest show business moment I've ever had, because they kept saying, okay, Greg, so this is happening, and look surprised, and I would make a face, and you go, is that, have you never been surprised before? What is that face? I'm like, I don't know. Acting is hard. <laughs> here, do you want to do it one more time? You ready? Yeah. This one, right Yeah, here? yeah, right there. It's cute. I raise my eyebrow. It's my signature move. Uh, the girls go wild all around America, and uh, we sell a few more books. It's kind of, it's sort of, it's sort And of ticket neat. sales. The movie title is the same title as the book. He's just not that into He's you. He's just not that into you. I have to be honest. I had a hard time saying it a couple of times when I was doing all the interviews with the celebrities. Right. I'm like, he's just, he's not, he, he hates you. He's not that just, he, <laughs> I was in a, I was, I was, I, right at the beginning when the book first came out, I was in an ice cream store, and this woman walks up and goes, he hates you. And I'm like, are you t talking about God? Like, I didn't know what she was talking about. I'm like, who does? He hates you, right? I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about because I didn't realize that it was becoming this thing. And then I'm like, he's just not that into you? Exactly. That's what I meant. Okay. <laughs> Greg Barrett, <laughs> I could talk to you for eons. Thank, Thank you. you so much and good luck with the film.